December 2nd is the national day in the Lao People's Democratic Republic. On this day, the Lao PDR was founded by the Lao People's Revolutionary Party after a peaceful transfer of power from the monarchy. Let's take a brief glance at the Constitution of Laos. Since the 18th century, the Lao land has been repeatedly threatened and invaded by outside powers. Our people enhance the heroic and unyielding traditions of their ancestors and continually and persistently fought to gain independence and freedom. Since the 1930s, under the correct leadership of the former Indo-Chinese Communist Party and the present Lao People's Revolutionary Party, the multi-ethnic Lao people have carried out difficult and arduous struggles full of great sacrifices until they managed to crush the yokes of domination and oppression, tumble the colonial and feudal regimes, completely liberate the country, and establish the Lao People's Democratic Republic on the 2nd of December, 1975, thus opening a new era, an era of genuine independence for the country and true freedom for the people. During the years since the country has been liberated under the leadership of Lao Revolutionary Party, our people have together been implementing the two strategic tasks of defending and building the country, especially the undertaking of reforms on every side, guided by the principles of mobilizing the resources within the nation and the era to preserve the people's democratic regime the people's wealth, prosperity, social harmony, democracy, justice, and civilization, creating conditions to move towards socialism. This constitution is the fruit of the process of the people's discussions throughout the country. It reflects the long-standing aspirations and strong determination of the national community to strive together to fulfill the objective of building Laos into a country of peace, independence, democracy, unity, and prosperity. Article 2. The state of the Lao People's Democratic Republic is a people's democratic state. All powers belong to the people and are exercised by the people and for the interests of the multi-ethnic people of all social strata with the workers, farmers, and intelligentsia as key components. Article 3. The rights of the multi-ethnic people to be the masters of the country are exercised and ensured through the functioning of the political system with the Lao People's Revolutionary Party as its leading nucleus. Article 4. Amended. The people are to elect representatives, namely the National Assembly and the local People's Assemblies, to ensure that their rights, powers, and benefits are addressed. The election of members of the National Assembly and the local people's assemblies shall be carried out through the principles of universal, equal direct suffrage and secret balloting. Voters have the right to propose the removal of their own representatives if they are found to behave in a way unbefitting their honorable positions and to lose the people's confidence. Right on. The state protects and promotes all forms of property rights, state, collective, private, domestic, and foreign investment in the Lao People's Democratic Republic. The state promotes the protection and restoration of the environment which has been destroyed and degraded to develop it so that it may become abundant and sustainable. All organizations and citizens must protect and preserve the biodiversity and use natural resources in line with the direction of ensuring sustainability. Land, minerals, water, air, forest, forest products, aquatic life, wildlife, and other natural resources all belong to the nation's community with the Lao government as the centralized and unified representative to manage those resources under laws of Lao PDR. 
the National Assembly may pass a vote of no confidence in any member or all members of the government if the National Assembly, Standing Committee, or one-fourth of the total number of National Assembly members raise the issue. In the event that the National Assembly has no confidence on any member or all members of the government, the President has the right to request the National Assembly for reconsideration or decides to terminate the member of the government. The Lao Front for National Construction, the Lao Veterans Federation, the Lao Federation of Trade Unions, the Lao People's Revolutionary Youth Union, the Lao's Women's Union, and other social organizations are the organizations to unite and mobilize all strata of the multi-ethnic people to take part in the tasks of protection and construction of the country to develop the right of self-determination of the people and to protect the legitimate rights and interests of the members of their respective organizations. They have the right and duty to monitor the activities of the National Assembly, local people's assemblies, and other members of such assemblies. I think there's a lot that we can learn from the Lao PDR's constitution, and I encourage folks to give it a Google and read it in its entirety for yourselves. Thanks for listening. Solidarity.